Have you ever opened a bottle of wine? And maybe it doesn't smell like a wet basement, but it sure doesn't smell right. Well, is it good? Is it bad? How do you know? And what should you do? I'm Sarah Heiner, president of Bottom Line Publications, and this is our Conversations with the Experts, where we get the answers to your tough questions from our leading experts. Today, I'm talking to Amy Dixon. Amy's the former buyer and the fine wine expert at Stu Leonard's Wine Stores, one of the top 10 retailers for wine in the country. She's currently managing a portfolio of fine wine collectors at Nicholas Roberts Wine Stores in Darien, Connecticut. Having lost 98% of her eyesight in 2007, in addition to being a wine expert, Amy's now a paratriathlete on Team USA, and she's also on the watch list for their cycling team. You can learn more about Amy and all of her cycling and her wine expertise at blogspot.blindsommelier.com. It's a welcoming. Thank you for having me. All right, so there I am. I opened up the wine. You're not sure if it smells right or wrong. What's the first thing that you should do? First thing you should do is feel the cork and take a look at the cork. So we're going to pull up some examples of what you should be looking for and what should not be there. Specifically, think about wine. You know, it's in a, it's in a vacuum. It's in a sealed bottle. What happens when a liquid gets heated up? What happens? Does it expand? Expands, it bubbles, it right. steams. Right, exactly. So if wine is in a controlled vase or in a controlled bottle, it has nowhere to go but up. And in our first example here, we've got a cork that has the wine that has leaked about one half to two thirds of the way up the cork. This is a really great barometer as far as telling you that something's wrong with this wine. But it doesn't mean that it's absolutely flawed. You've got to trust your nose and you've got to trust your palate. But these are all good detective clues to tell you that there could be something wrong with your wine. So you do not smell the cork, because what's the cork going to smell like? It's going to smell like cork. Exactly, as it should, because it's a cork. But your wine should not smell like cork. And that's really the, the first telltale sign. The cork is going to tell you a variety of different things. It's going to tell you how that wine was stored and transported. And there's a couple clues that you're going to look for. We're going to pull up an example of a wine cork that obviously this wine has been transported or stored improperly. And what that means is that wine is a very delicate thing. And what happens when a liquid gets heated up? It expands. Exactly. So in a wine bottle, it has nowhere to go but up that cork, because cork is a porous surface. So the wine has been heated up during transportation, so it went up the cork. And if it goes more than, I would say, one eighth of the way up the cork, that's a telltale sign that something has happened to heat this wine up. And we want to really trust our nose and our palate. So if, if I look at the cork and I see that that wine has bled up the cork significantly and the wine isn't smelling quite right, can't really put my finger on it, those two clues are telling me that this wine is flawed and I would absolutely send it back. I would yes. never hesitate. So let's take a look. So these corks that we have on the screen, the one all the way on the left where it looks like the, the, it's kind of dark halfway up. Yes that that's bled up and that's probably bad. That's probably bad. But again, that could have been a quick temperature spike. It could have been they were loading it on a dock and it was 80 degrees outside. It sat out there for 10 minutes and it shot up real quick and it's fine. So again, I urge people to trust their nose and their palate. But if I got a cork like that at a restaurant or I bought a bottle of wine in a local store and I saw it's bled halfway up the cork and the wine's not smelling quite right to me, it doesn't taste quite right to me, then th these are all great clues. So should I feel the cork? Does moisture of the cork have anything to do with it? Absolutely. If a cork is bone dry and it's flaking and it's disintegrating, that means, again, that the wine was probably not stored properly. You want to have a, a cork that's slightly moist at the tip, at the, at the side that's been exposed to the wine, and also that's, that's got some good elasticity to the cork. If the cork's really dry, it means that the wine was probably standing up for a great long period of time, which is fine for a month in, in a local retail shop, but ideally you want that wine laying on its side so the cork stays saturated and therefore has a good closure on the wine because when the cork dries up it shrinks and therefore you no longer have a, a good seal. So how about, you know, now they have these synthetic corks. Mm. Am I able to use that as a barometer? Love, 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 love me some synthetic corks. They're you great. like them? Oh, they're fantastic. I think everything should become be, be coming in, in screw top and glass top closure and, and plastic corks. Really? Be, yes. I was going to ask you about that, whether screw top and... Yeah, was, absolutely. All right, so let's talk about synthetic corks. Synthetic they're corks good. are great. Yeah. Does it keep the wine from going bad? Of course. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, again, a lot of things can cause a wine to flaw. There can be bacteria in the wine. There can be bacteria that was used in the barrels. 
that the wine was fermented or stored in, or the wine could be heated up during transportation and it was cooked. So those have nothing to do with the type of cork that's been used. That has everything to do with transportation and how the wine was made. So it can have other flaws, but it's not going to have a bad cork. So, and there won't be any telltale signs on the synthetic? No, there won't. So you're going to have to really trust your nose and your palate. One thing that's unique to cork, which is why so many people are switching over to screw tops and glass top closures and synthetic corks specifically, is there's a compound called TCA, trichloranosol. And TCA is a compound that they actually use in newspapers. So if you've ever opened a bottle of wine and you get immediate smell of wet basement or you get that smell of wet newspaper that's been left out, you know, you forgot to pick it up off of the front step, that's that smell and it's, it's no accident because it's actually the same compound that they use to sanitize newsprint before they print it. So if your wine smells like the New York Times, there's a problem. So TCA is something that forms in the wine? No, TCA is actually a, a compound that they use to, to sanitize the corks before processing and sometimes they don't rinse it off enough. And so it's not bad for you. So it's bad from the start. It's bad basically. from the get-go. Okay. And so you're never going to have that problem with a synthetic cork or with a screw top, but you will have that problem with a real cork. Real cork has been used for centuries, and it's a, a lovely closure. It works very, very well. But because of the way that they treat the corks with this TCA, a chlorination process, a bleaching of the corks to sanitize it before bottling, some of that residue can be left in the cork, and therefore that can get into the wine. Again, it will not hurt you. You can certainly ingest TCA. It's just incredibly unpleasant to drink. <laughs> and trust me, I have suffered through many a bottle in order to be polite to a friend or customer who is very excited about a wine that they've been saving for a special occasion. They open it up and immediately it smells like that wet basement or that cardboard smell. Uh, it's very disappointing. And again, it won't hurt you, but it'll be very, very unpleasant. And the wine is flawed. And always if that happens, I urge people to take the wine back to their local retailer because the retailer will get credit from their supplier. Don't feel bad. It's not a fault of the retailer. It doesn't mean that the wine was stored improperly. It means that the cork started off with a bad cork. And same thing at a restaurant. If you smell wet basement immediately, and sometimes it can be subtle, Sometimes it can just be a trace of it, and sometimes it can be very overpowering, depending upon the amount of residue that was left on that cork. But never be afraid to send it back because it is a flaw. Let's look at another cork yeah. that looks bad. This but is a good one. This cork actually looks like it has all sorts of crystals on it, like there's something that's gone bad on the cork or the wine. Right, and I actually call this wine rock candy. It's actually delicious. These are called tartrate crystals. And if going back to your high school chemistry class and you're using of centrifuges and things like that, this is a precipitate that falls out of solution when a wine goes from being fermented, where it's actually it's a very warm process to being cooled down and this falls out as these sort of crystals and there's nothing wrong with the wine whatsoever it's actually for me it's, it's sometimes an indicator of quality because it means that the wine wasn't filtered the less intrusion that a winemaker does on the wine the better the less hands-on and less things that they do to manipulate the wine the better so this tells me that the wine was definitely not filtered because there's tartrate crystals left in the wine and they d generally stick to the cork because the cork is sort of a rough surface unlike unlike a glass bottle and there's nothing wrong you can eat them they sort of taste like wine obviously <laughs> and they're a little bit sweet because there's the grape sugar on them they're perfectly fine Th that is not a bad wine whatsoever okay so now We've got a dry cork or we've got a bad smell or we've got the hint of a bad smell. Mm. How sniffy do you have to be to really be able to know if the bottle of wine is bad? Trust your nose. I don't care if it's your first glass of wine you've mm. ever had. If something's really putting you off, always trust your nose and your palate. And the nose is a great barometer, but if you're also getting it on the palate, you know, that, that sort of reinforces the fact that the wine is flawed. And when in doubt, ask the sommelier at the restaurant or ask the retailer. Bring it back, you know, the next day and say, don't wait a week as a courtesy to your local retailer because that's really unfair because it's very hard to tell a week after a wine's been opened whether there's something wrong with the wine. Of course something's wrong with the wine after a week. It's turned to vinegar. But <laughs> after a day or two, bring it to your local retailer and say, hey, listen, I think this wine was bad. What do you think? And they'll, they'll tell you right away. Where's the fine line? You know, is it because everybody has different smells or different palates? Yep. So how do I know if it's just I ate mint earlier or something like that that's making something smell bad to me? It's certainly possible, but having an experience with that wine, if it's a wine that you've had a number of times and all of a sudden something's not adding up and not tasting right and not smelling right, trust your own judgment.
Anything else that they should be on the lookout for besides the cork and the smell? Other than TCA being in the wine and, uh, and the cork, there's other flaws that can happen to wine. Wine can be what's called baked, which is exactly what it sounds like. The wine was cooked during transportation. It saw some sort of extreme temperature, and therefore the wine almost tastes like sherry. While some people like sherry, your Cabernet should not taste like sherry. And sometimes it almost tastes like, rather than fresh fruit, if you've had a Pinot Noir or a nice lighter red wine that's usually floral and soft, and it tastes like stewed tomatoes or it smells like stewed cooked fruit, that's a good indication that there's something wrong with that wine. And again, it, it comes with experience of having tasted that wine once or twice. And when in doubt, ask somebody, ask for a second opinion. Well, that's great. All right, so thank you, Amy Dixon, blindsommelier.blogspot.com. The bottom line on whether or not a bottle of wine is bad. If the cork has, has wine that's going up partway up the cork, not a tiny bit, but if it's a significant percentage of the cork, then it's likely that wine has not been stored properly and it's been heated. If it smells bad to you, and I mean smells bad, like smells like it doesn't look, smell like wine, then that's a hint that something is bad. Or even if the wine does not smell or taste like it's supposed to, if it's fruitier than it should be or it's flat, it's very possible that that wine is bad. So take it back to your retailer within a day or two so that they can still tell that there really is a problem. This is Sarah Heiner with Bottom Line Publications.